Hello, welcome to How to Do Physics. Today we're going to talk about a concept that is not strictly physics, but is very important in the physics that we do, um, and that is units. And units is, is how we describe things, really anything, right? So if we measure something, then it, that thing will have some length or some volume, and we have to put units along with it, right? How, um, if, we, if we measure, um, your shoe or you measure a table, right? You're, you're measuring some length and that length has a certain size, but has a certain size with a particular unit, right? And so if we were measuring say a table and you used a ruler, you can measure it in inches, you can measure it in, in feet, you can measure it in centimeters, you can measure it in meters, you could technically measure it in a kilometer, you could measure it in AU, an astronomical unit, which is the distance, the average distance from the Earth to the Sun, right? That would be kind of silly to do, but you could do it. And the point is that it's it's important to reference what units you're using because that tells you the relative size, right? Uh, if we had a table and you used a ruler, which is about a foot, right? Then that table could be five feet, and you would have some idea and connection to what that meant. Uh, if you were more used to using meters and you measured that table, you could say it was about two meters, right? Again, that gives you a, a reference to how big something is based on the units that it has. And again, technically, we could use astronomical units, but that would be something very small, right? It'd be times 10 to the negative 16th or something like that. Like, it'd be incredibly tiny, right? But the the importance is that we could uh, we could still measure that table with using whatever unit, but we would have to be careful about um, referencing and stating what that unit is. Numbers don't have any meaning unless they have a unit attached to it. Um, if you are, are talking about, if you're baking, right? And it, it, you're, I don't know, you're baking a pie and it, it tells you to use flour and to use one flour. Right? Well, how much flour are you using? Are you using a cup? Are you using a tablespoon? Are you using a teaspoon? Um, it's, so that unit of a cup is very important in your baking process. And so we, we see these units everywhere. The importance for physics is that when we reference things and how they're measured, um, then we need to make sure that we are consistent in how we state or how we use these units. And so what we have is some standard units, and specifically I have some written over here on the side, but I'll write some other ones down. Um, but some of our standard ones for length are uh, meters, right? So these, when we say standards, these are the ones that we will all go back to, because in physics, what we like to do is we like to create uh, mathematical interpretations of phenomena that happen in around, all around us and put them into nice convenient equations and those convenient equations generally have have numbers what we call constants that make things look nice and are and it's very convenient uh, but because of that those constants are given in particular units right so they have specific units associated with those with those constants and so we have to be, again, we have to be careful about how we address these, address these units when we use physics equations. Um, so meters is one, um, kilograms. Is what we use for mass. I guess this is length. Um, seconds, this is what we use for um, for time, I think I just put an M in there for seconds. Oops, having trouble speaking and writing at the same time today. There we go. Time. Okay, so these are just some of some of them. Um, and to to illustrate, I pulled this out of a Wikipedia page of like ridiculous units or something like that. It was kind of funny. Um, but this, I think this gives us a good example. So we could talk about the length of something. So we'll say a kitchen table in terms of a furlong. So if we talk about a furlong, that furlong, so if we wrote this, 
mathematically here. Oh, where's my pointer? Here it is. So one furlong is equal to 660 feet. Right, so that gives us an, 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 an idea mentally of how big this, this furlong is, right? Another way that this relates is it gives us, this table also gives us the value of it in terms of meters, which is 201.168 meters, right? So that gives us a relationship between furlong, but also gives us a relationship between feet and meters, right? Technically, 660 feet is 201.168 meters, okay? Now, what we could be given is, say somebody measured the table, and they said this table, um, let's see if I can make this up in my head here. Uh, so the table is, if someone tells you this, the table is, we'll call it 0.0, .0 zero one furlongs this may be an interesting size table okay table 0 0.01 furlongs well actually let's make it a little interesting let's call it two. Zero point zero two furlongs You're like okay well that's great but that doesn't really help me understand what how big this table is and so now we need to convert this table into or convert this measurement of furlongs into feet or meters. So let's do that. So uh, let's go back up here. So if I have 0 0.0, oh. So let's say, let's put it into, um, well, let's put it into feet first. So how big is this table? In feet right so to do this conversion we say okay well I've got this table and I know that it's 0 0.02 furlongs long but I want this in feet so I know that one furlong is 660 feet so notice what I did here is I took this ratio or this comparison, this relationship between the furlong and the feet, and I adjusted it as such so as to when I do this multiplication, what's gonna happen? When I multiply these through, the furlong is going to cancel out and I'm going to be left with feet, or which, which is what I want to find out. So then if I do this, ah, where's my, cursor very hard to see great there it is then I get 0 0.002 times 660 feet and this is now my uh, this is now how big my table is where did my calculator go I didn't bring it with me there we go so when we do this multiplication we see um, that we end up with something that looks like like this. Right, so we multiply this out, we get, well, I guess we could just do it here so that everyone sees what's going on. Well, it's 1.32 feet. Hopefully you can figure that out. <laughs> I guess I'll say that, right? So that two creates, we can, it's two times 666, essentially, and then we have one zero, and then we take off um, three places there. So we end up with this 1.3 feet. So I guess it's not that big of a table, but, um, but that gives us the, a sense, again, of a relationship between this furlong idea and feet. And we can do this for any of this. So there's some other crazy things here. A firkin is a way that you talk about mass, which is 90 pounds or 40.8233 kilograms. Um, so if we had something that was given in a firkin, right, say this child weighs two firkins, right, that would be 180 pounds or about 80 kilograms, okay? Um, we could talk about Fortnite. That's the other one on here, right, in terms of time. Fortnite is 14 days, 
so we could convert those whatever this that we're measuring in terms of time into uh, from a fortnight into seconds and that would be what is that one million two hundred nine thousand six hundred seconds those commas yeah right so it's a lot of seconds but we can but we can do that and so in physics we have to be careful about the units of things to make sure that we are in some sort of standard uh, measure, measurement of these of these objects whatever they are um, to ensure that we can use the equations properly um, so we'll be we'll be given speed which is usually in meters per second I guess I could put that up here all right so meters per second that's what we will use for speed or velocity. Um, I wonder if some other ones on here. A Newton, which is what we'll use for force. Um, joules, which is what we'll use for energy. Or, yeah, that'll work. Um, watt, which is what we use for power, right? So if you don't know what these things are, that's fine. But the, the the importance is that these are the standard units that we will use and assume that we use when we when we put our numbers that we're given into equations. And so we may have to be careful about making sure that the units that we're given are in the proper form. And so we'll have to just keep an eye on that as we go through um, our physics problems. And that's usually if you if you are working through a problem and you know that you've got it right, but that your numbers aren't coming out correctly. This is usually the first place to go. And it's a pretty big deal, right? If we're talking about a table that is 0 0.002 furlongs, but the unit is not included and it's 0 0.002 feet. And that's a very, very small table. But it will also have an effect on how large we need to cut the wood, right? Um, so a, a transferring of information must include units while we discuss how things are working in the world around us.